This is John Acosta and welcome to the Screen Capturing for Educators on a Mac video course. In this course, I'm going to walk you through the step-by-step -step methods for setting up your Mac to record screencasts or slideshow presentations. The steps I'll show you in this course are universal for all screencasting software on your Mac. So if you're using or planning on using programs like Camtasia, ScreenFlow, QuickTime Player, Screencast-O-Matic, or any other screen capturing software, then you're in the right place. And by the end of this course, you'll be able to do things like optimize your lesson creation process, which as a teacher I know is important to you. You'll also be able to capture super crisp HD video and the highest audio quality possible. And most importantly, you'll be able to avoid any technology issues that usually occur further down the road Nobody likes having to re-record their video lessons, so this one's huge. Now, you might be thinking, John, this sounds like a lot of new technology that I may or may not be ready for. Well, if you're feeling that way right now, that's a good sign. Do me a favor and embrace this feeling of uncertainty, insecurity, or curiosity. Because remember, this is the exact same feeling that your students go through every single day and you might be able to empathize with that emotion in the classroom just fine because you can see your student, the body language, the tonality is all there. But when you record video lessons, emotion can easily get lost in translation. Believe it or not, most teachers forget that one very simple truth. They forget to add emotion or express original tonality with their recordings, and the result is usually poorly crafted video lessons which causes student engagement to tank and learning ultimately comes to a halt. If you really want your video lessons to be effective and engaging for your students, you must understand the fundamentals in this course. And the best way to do this is by becoming an excellent student yourself. So you'll notice that in this course and all the courses we create, we break down the information into bite-sized chunks. And at the end of each lesson, we always include an action step that will sharpen your new skills to the point where you'll amaze yourself with what you can do now. Most of our video lessons will include a downloadable checklist or a template that you can print out or save to your computer for quick referencing. And remember, if you have any questions, you can always revisit any lesson in this course and even feel free to leave a comment below and myself or someone in our community will answer it for you. All right, let's go ahead and get started with your first lesson.